Welcome to Brother Frank TV, beautiful people. Today we are at the Trap Mansion in upstate New York. Take a look at how massive and beautiful this place is. And yes, we are definitely going inside, but before we do that, cue the intro, please. All righty, getting ready to enter the trap mansion. All righty, let's go check out what's going on down here before we hit the upstairs. And well, the reason that this place is called, and there's a good chair to start everything out, the Trap Mansion, is because this family originally, I guess they built traps for hunting. So that's where they made a lot of their early money, the bulk of their money. But then they parlayed it into like silverware. So I'm going to put as much info as I can in the description. Another good chair. That's the reason it gets the nickname. Oh, seemed like it was getting a little blurry. The nickname of the Trap Mansion. And with good reason, for sure. Alrighty, so that would be kind of, uh, as you can see, says residential down there so that's the areas we don't want to go in because they do have people that are actually living here so wow uh, i know that they got a beautiful um library here and a really beautiful what they call big hall kind of like a i don't know a little theater but check out this library this is really amazing really really beautiful I mean, how'd you like to come home and say, I'm home, and you're living inside of a 90,000 square foot mansion? Pretty cool. And then got this kind of a beautiful library that you have access to. Sorry if I sniffle on occasion. I'm getting off a, over a, a cold and... Uh, just causes me to sniffle from time to time and I do apologize if you hear it. I wanted to go out and get this place while they're still allowing those to go on self-guided tours because I'm not one that does the group tours at all. Check out in there. Pretty cool. So, all right. I'll take care of the library. Beautiful, how absolutely gorgeous, beautiful it is. We'll, we'll try to stay on one track here. Oh, and this is, which I don't really know, but check out the room. Beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. We are actually getting a look inside of what the rooms look like. This is beautiful. Wow. Beautiful bathroom. Brother Frank loves you, beautiful people. That's right. Brother Frank loves you. Absolutely beautiful. And if you got some people with you, got that little pull away bed. Not sure why the camera is freezing up. Could be that it's really cold but this is a fantastic room are you kidding me 
Absolutely beautiful. Um, another one right here. Now, I don't know if these are rooms. I'm assuming that they, these are ones that they rent or that... I don't know. I really don't know. Little closet in there. Absolutely beautiful though. Well, not sure what's down here. But, we'll check out as much as we can because I have to be respective of any of the residents. Well, take a look at how beautiful this place is. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. Not sure, this is probably where they do their mail call. This is where they probably do their, yeah, I would assume so. Looks like they got mailboxes here and stuff. Mailboxes. So, this is definitely a cool place. Beautiful floors. They are doing some work in here, so I'm just trying to avoid some of the workers as well. Good photo. You can see the ladder right there. Not sure why. It's blurry. I really don't know why it tends to get blurry from time to time, but it does. Absolutely fabulous place though. Wow. And we have a stairway there. Not sure where that takes us. That could be more residential to where I don't want to go as you can see you never know when someone's gonna pop out check it out that beautiful elevator right here how do you beat that? Now this mansion was built, I believe, in 1862. Nice restroom here for sure. Yep, beautiful restroom. Yep, the place is in great shape for sure. Brother Frank loves you. And they just told me to be careful and be respectful of people because we have to remember they do live here and there are signs where basically you okay so here we're back this is the other side of the library which we just saw this is just another floor here all right actually let's uh Let's back up here because I see maybe we can go down. Um, it says ice machine down here. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. See if we're allowed to take a peek down here. Uh, women's room. There's like ice machine, the Oneida room. Not sure what that is, but that's locked anyways. 
I'm gonna have to see what the men's room looks like. Just feels like somebody's behind me here today. Not sure why, but I just get that sense that somebody's like behind me. So let's go check out some more. Didn't see that. Alrighty, so now we'll start making our way. And if I'm being quiet, it's because there's offices around. Okay, so this is the original where we were, and now we will make our way to the stairs. Hello. Which are right here. So let's head up and check out. Oh, let's check out this room first. Oh, how cool is this room? It's like a a whole nother library in here. Ooh. The eyes, they never lie. And they always give off creepiness. Couple good chairs, you know, they'll always be there. If you go into a tunnel, you'll find a chair. I mean, <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Good chair. In this place, you would expect to find some, but in some of the places, the asylums that we go into, you just, you're like, what are you doing? Oh, check this out. Really nice here. I'm trying to talk low. There's an office right across the way here, but this is the only time slot I could get. And I'm thankful. Well, check this out. Like, Got some books here, and then, wow, well, here you go. Got some dolls. Sorry if there's any reflection. Pretty interesting looking dolls, that's for sure. If I turn the light off, you'll see what, probably not going to be able to see much of anything. Let's see. All right. Maybe. I don't know if that's better, but there's also a reflection off the window, so. Nah, tried the best I could. And there's a good, nice couch. I'll tell you that much right now. And then all roads seem to lead back to the library on this side of the mansion. So we'll make our way out of this room and start heading in other directions. This place is so big. I mean, come on, 90,000 square feet is absolutely massive. <laughs> All righty, let's, uh... oh, got another picture right here. Check this guy out. Pretty cool. The eyes always seem like they're right with you. See if I can give you a little info on this guy here. Of course, the light doesn't ever want to act right when you need it, but there we go. It looks like it was one of, he was one of the community members. And uh, who knows, maybe that's uh, this chair. Alrighty, let's go ahead and bounce. go up this really cool stairway. Wow. As you can see, that's beautiful right there. Really cool. Yeah. The big hall is supposed to be one of the big attractions here. So, and I think we're going into it right now. Yep, here it goes. Wow, check this out. A big hall. 
Alrighty, this place is absolutely beautiful. This is where they would have some events that they do here. Yep, and it's called the Big Hall. We're gonna try to get a look from up there and kind of get a beautiful look and see what it looks like down here. Oh, nice uh, seats, good chairs. Check it out, nice uh, big speaker there. And this is where the actual speakers or performers would be right up here. This is a great view, check it out. This is their pride and joy here. And here goes the good speaker. Well, let's get a good Look around. Hear a lot of creaks, a lot of noises. Very interesting. The big hall. And, uh, oh, this must be a really magnificent piano, I'm assuming. Um, See if we can just take a little peek at it. Yep, beautiful piano. I'm not gonna remove any more. Just wanted to get a look at the a little bit of the color and oops. And looks like these rooms will just take you back down where we're gonna go right here, which is right here. It's the stairway, a little stairs actually. Let me see. And oh, check it out. <laughs> Got a little entrance way right here that would have taken you right where we were, right there. Pretty cool. Actually, I want to see if we can take a look outside there. Looks like I see some kind of a balcony, maybe. Let's see if we can just take a quick peek and see what it looks like from right here, because I don't think we can get out here. Yeah, check it out. That's really nice right there. And this is probably right on top of the entrance, so. All right, now let's see if we can figure out how to, how to get up there. <laughs> There's another one of these little peekaboo rooms right here. Take a peekaboo. Oh. Not much going on in here. Not much going on in there. Yeah, they have it closed off up there. That's, well, let me see. Maybe we can take a peek on the other side here. This is just a beautiful view from up here. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see. Yeah, we can't get in there even if we wanted to. That's. That's all blocked off, so. Anyways, it was worth a little try. Let's uh, move on. And uh, take some peeks down some other. Okay, here we go. Oh, and here we go. Another room here. Oh, pretty cool stuff. Let me get this light off. A 
World War One. That's some stuff from World War One. And then that's some stuff from World War Two. Now, if you remember, I mentioned to you that they parlayed their money into silverware. Uh, was they started out with traps and then basically tableware um, into silverware and uh, they just made a boatload of money. Maybe here's, here's a pretty cool model scaled down of course but absolutely beautiful and over here here we go there we go now you can see silverware these are they're stainless steel um, teaspoons and different sizes and hey bottom line is money good for them they always say when you are able to make money good for you you're doing everything the right way and good for you mm. Not sure what's going on down here, and I'm not even sure if this might just be completely residential. Oh, here goes like maybe they have a little stuff set up here, kind of like weight training, and maybe this is a room for storage. Maybe this is a storage room. Who knows? Just saw it. Figured we'd come over, check it out. Cool bike. That's a nice bike. And uh, so we'll just turn and then check out how nice it is. I didn't want to go there. There were some people with their door open in their room. Um, let's try and make our way upstairs. <laughs> check out this face. Whoa. And I always like looking downward. That's always a cool view. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a look from upstairs. Because I don't know how much of this we're actually allowed to, to be up. But they said be respectful. So when I see somebody, if you see me just turn around quickly, that's because I ran into somebody. And I definitely don't want any issues especially wanting to come back here so there's a oh maybe an extra room here toilet extra tub extra mattress or ones that are no good no more hmm, interesting little room um, let's go back. Well, let's go into the hopefully the top part of the big hall. This is one is what I really wanted to get for you guys. We're gonna come back and do a complete video here in a couple months uh, when I'm able to pretty much get the place to myself. But this is what it looks like from above right here, which is fantastic check it out the big hall that's the stage we were just on right there and now we'll just take a look from over here and check it out yeah how cool how cool is that <laughs> that's a really sweet piano man you could see the hall here but there's someone currently on the other side and I don't want to put them on video I want to be respectful of everybody so I'll give you a shot of it now there we go you could see how absolutely check it out this is wonderful we got we got some view here and I'm just so thrilled that I was able to come here and get you something. Now for the bonus footage, there's a treat out on the on the side of 
the mansion. Oh, check this out. Nice view from here. Wow. There's a tree on the other side of the mansion that, um, it's a gazebo. And this gazebo was built from the swamp wood. I'm telling, I'm talking about wood from swamp. And as you know, I, I love, I love gazebos. And uh, just to have the opportunity to see one that was made out of swamp wood, I can't wait. Take a look at how big this place is. Yeah, well, I'm going to be anxious to come back and do this place in a couple months and see if they'll allow me to bring a few friends and basically let us have carte blanche. The only tricky part is the residents, but they said that they can uh, absolutely get us a really um, wonderful part of the mansion that we can have to ourselves. So I'm, I'm going to be working on that, but we'll be doing lots of uh, collaborations. We have a, a really huge asylum, it's supposed to be one of the most haunted locations, haunted asylums in the United States, if not possibly the world. Definitely the most haunted asylum in Pennsylvania. That is in the works. We also have an asylum that we are working on um, down by West Virginia and we have some in Connecticut. So I am working on things. We are going to do more collaborations at the resorts. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it when we, uh, we team up. We very good chemistry with um, CJ Faison, Sunny Deeds, and um, Hobie Cat. You know, go check out their channels. Um, I'm sure you guys are definitely all know CJ Faison and Sunny Deeds, but Hobie Cat got some really fantastic, creepy locations. Um, he goes into. Um, the abandoned nighttime adventures, you'll really enjoy his stuff. It's really fantastic. That's for sure. Okay, so we'll now go ahead and vacate this beautiful, and I mean absolutely beautiful <coughs> hall, or they call it the big hall. And yeah, and that's where we were in the balcony part of it, right there. As you can see the balcony. And here goes the tub with a nice bathroom. Just to get an idea. Oh, that's a pretty cool tub. And if you're wondering, yes, the EMF meter is always going. Um, I just have to be careful with the meter as I'm walking around this particular location, but Brother Frank loves you. That's for sure. And oh, here's a here's a top view from this beautiful room down here. But I have to be careful because this is all residence here. And I don't want to um, upset anyone or cause us from having an issue from coming in here another time so we're gonna go down here and look right in this room but this is really a, I love to have the views where we can look and check things out from above but we're gonna go down there um, and here, here's a little room here not sure Exactly. This might be a little common room where they come in and they, yeah, they watch TV, maybe uh, do some reading. Very cool. That's a good chair. That's one I like, as well as this one. Nice look right there. Um, let's see what they got going on in here. 
Oh, yeah, here goes maybe their ice machine. Uh, cool little microwave. And Brother Frank loves you. Beautiful people. Smash that like button. That's a, that's a heck of a nice bathroom, I'll tell you that. Alrighty, now we will... Oh, didn't even see that. So let's go ahead and check out this room here from down below now. Wow, this is really nice. We're gonna, wow, oh, this is really nice, beautiful clock. We're going to uh, go check out some of the traps. Then we will close out and go into bonus footage with that beautiful gazebo made out of swamp wood, which will be fantastic. What a beautiful view, as you can see. Yeah. Wow, check it out. Great picture. You can really see how really massive this place is right there. Uh, I don't know if I can see how really, really massive. I mean, 90,000 square feet. It's just amazing. Get another look how beautiful it is out there. I like it's got the snow on the ground. All right, now we'll make our way and uh, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Oh, here goes some, like, I don't know, I would say some artifacts. Pretty cool stuff. Mansions, uh, I love filming mansions. Uh, I always feel being respectful is the best thing you can do. It goes a long way. Alrighty, gotta say goodbye to the big hall. I don't think I showed you guys the ceiling, but take a look at it. And, uh, all right, let's go take a look at some of the traps. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, so this would be the hallway that we did not go down, and I believe the traps are down this way. Oh, check it out in here. This is really nice. Nice entrance way here. Get a good look. It almost kind of comes out like black and white. At least from here. I don't know if it's going to look different to you or while I'm editing the video, but that's pretty cool. Let, let's give a little zoom action down there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, let's go find the room with the traps in them. That, that would be really nice. Oh, check that out. All right, beautiful people. We are now going downstairs into, I don't know if it's a basement area or what, but they've never allowed anyone down here. So this is a first. Check it out. Wow. Not much down here, but it's just so fascinating to be able to come down. Oh, that's locked. Please keep the door closed. Not sure what this. Oh, we'll check it out. Huh? It does go further and further. Wow. Oh my God. This is like cave and tunnel systems down here. Wow. This is unbelievable. Wow. We are so blessed to be able to come down here. And I got three no's 
to come down here before I've got one yes. So I'm just thankful we have permission to be down here. They did tell me that no one's ever come down here, let alone come down here, but let alone film. So we are being blessed beyond measure at this point. Look at this. It's got like, holy cow, look at that. It's all maybe where they keep all the radiators and stuff. Wow. Wow, check out this room. Holy cow, check it out. We do have the meter going down here. This is, this gives you an airy, creepy feeling down here, I'll tell you that much. I guess maybe it's because of the, not people not coming down here and you just always expect somebody to come from around the corner, but check this out. This is absolutely amazing. Look at all these radiators. Call this the radiator room. Wow. And it's uh, it's dark down here. Don't make no mistake about it. <laughs> As you could see right there, this room is dark. But let's go with the light. <laughs> Wow, this makes the journey and makes this place so much more worth it. I don't know where those stairs go, but wow, this just keeps going and going and going. Check it out. Wow, look at that, safe and locked. Wow, check this room out, like pots and pans. Wow. Wow. Look at this. I'm not going to spend too much time down here because I don't want the person that gave me permission to come down here to get in trouble. Look at this, it's like a safe. Amazing. Look at that. Jeez. Holy smokes. Once we get down done down here, we'll go finish up the end of the hall and then we'll get out there and go get that gazebo. What an extra bonus treat this is, my gosh. And it just keeps going and going. Well, that's why they want you to be careful. My foot just went in there. I'm silverware, look at this. This is amazing. It's like a tunnel system under the mansion. My battery's dying now too. Jeez. Wow, that must be like a back door entrance here. Whoa, this room is ice cold. Wow, this is like an old apartment in here. Check this out. This is like good chairs everywhere. Especially that one, just kind of like standing out by itself. Wow, this room is. This is amazing. This is a whole, wow. This is like a whole nother, I mean, just a whole nother mansion in its own. Wow, let's take a peek in here. Oh, bathroom. Look at that with all the paley paint. Wow. Maybe, I don't know. Definitely, you can tell nobody's been down here, but 
we are certainly blessed. And this is where it gets really cold again. Wow, that was a crazy little room. And believe me when I tell you, it is dark in here. Check it out. Wow. <laughs> and this just keeps going and going and going. Wow, it's just more down here. Um, hello? Wow, this would be amazing if the lights go out and my light would go out. We're just so blessed. That's like such a cool like little tunnel right there. Wow. And I think this is the end of the line here. Wow. It just keeps going and going and going. Oh. Check it out. Oh. Maybe this is where they do the laundry. Yeah, this must be like the laundry room down here. Wow, this is massive. It just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, this is where maybe people keep their stuff, expensive stuff, bikes. I'm going to head on out of here. I don't want to... I think we've pretty much seen all the good stuff. There's like the washer and dryers and stuff. Yeah, let me see. Staff only, but we got permission, so we're just gonna make our way back. But every time I say that, it just keeps going and going and going. This might be like the freezer area. Yeah, because it is really cold in here. And there's always gotta be some good chairs. Good chairs, no matter where you go. And a good face. All right, beautiful people, we're gonna head on out of here. Such a... This has been such a treat just to be able to come here. I don't wanna abuse it because I don't even know if they know how far this goes. And honestly, I don't even know how to get out of here now so wow check this out always gives you a creepy feel with these you always think there's somebody behind them right. okay I think we hook a right here and it'll I hope Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Let's take a look what it looks like with no lights down here. Wow, check it out. It's pretty cool as we go down like this. Yeah, these are like amazing like tunnels down here. Wow, I'm so glad we got to see this all. And we still got bonus footage to come, so this was a nice long one for you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you beautiful people. I don't think we came in on this side here. Let me just take a quick peek over here. Yeah, you see the holes there? You put those in there. Goodbye, Jack. Yeah, check it out. Just hit my head. Oh. Check it out. This is like the radiator room. Yep, yeah, let's get on out of here. Ouch. Keep banging my head. Alrighty. 
And here we go. And I think we were already on the other side of this. Yeah, we already went on the other side of that in the beginning. So, um, yep, we already came all through there. Now we'll be making our way back upstairs. Wow, that was amazing. There you go, tours that way. And I think that's how we go upstairs, but maybe one more peek over here. Yeah, it's just, I can't believe how it just keeps going and going. And I know I keep saying, let's head on upstairs, but the explorer in me just wants to keep going and going and going. I don't know if we came in here or not. Wow, it's just so much down here. Check it out, the cage. <laughs> And I'm not kidding when I say that. Take a look right there. The chair's got to be right there. Um, yeah, we're going to take one quick peek here. And this time, for real, I'm going to go ahead and... I don't know what's going on in here, but... Wait a second. Take a peek. Wow, that is amazing right there. That is crazy right there. Alrighty, let's get out, go ahead and get out of here. Good chair. And I think we get out right here. Yep, this will take us right out of here. And let's go ahead and finish up the end of the hallway. Like I said, this is staff only. We got complete permission, so. This will uh, do it for us. Alrighty. I'm um, not sure. Maybe. Yeah, I think this is where. Whoa. Check that out. Got that little dress right there. Yep. And the meter's always going. Haven't had any action on it at all. Unlike the uh, Bundy Mansion that was extremely active. This place just makes you feel... Oh, check this. Check that card out. That's that's super cool. And uh, now we'll be entering... Wow. Check that out. Now we'll be uh, getting into the traps and here we go so here is your nickname for the trap as the trap mansion goes and uh, there you go and then check this trap out right there you don't want to get caught in there absolutely not Got a nice uh, rifle there, I think. Some type of gun. I'm not familiar with guns or traps. You guys, comment below if you know. Looks like something I've seen in an old, old western back in the day. Now you're going to see a bunch of traps. Wow, check this out. There you go. And this is why it's called one of the next names is the Trap Mansion. So I have to make sure that we got this in there. <laughs> Alrighty. 
And we're going to get ready for bonus footage. Beautiful people. I don't think we can go on. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can go any further down here. Um, well, let's take a look. I'm not sure. She said first and second floor, and that's what this is. Yep, here we go. Wow, check it out. Like going back to the little house on the prairie here. Wow. Very cool room. That's for sure. They got some really cool photographs um, that were taken in here back in the day. Check that out. And of course you got um yeah see this where it says private residency uh, i don't want to i'm not going to go in there just take a peek in here and that's all see that just goes down the end of the hallway and those are just all Apartments, and that takes us back up where we were to the balcony. So we basically covered this whole mansion Beautiful room here But it does feel like every corner I'm turning that there's like somebody right behind me Feels like it, but I think this puts it to an end here yep so close the doors don't forget beautiful people please like please subscribe please comment and I want you to find the absolute biggest mansion that you can find and smash that like button beautiful people Smash that like button. We're going to get ready to go get some bonus footage. Right about now. Bonus footage, beautiful people. I got something really special for you. As you know, I'm a big fan of gazebos now what's special about this gazebo is this was made out of wood from swamp so think about that this is amazing I've never seen one like this and I thought this would be a really special treat look at this really amazing and it's amazingly cold as well just think, this uh, this wood <laughs> came right from the swamp, which is amazing. Check it out. Wow, just look at the craft. Look at how this was done. See if I can get a little zoom action in there. Wow, absolutely beautiful. I mean, I really hope you enjoyed this mansion it's probably without a doubt the biggest mansion that I've ever been in or filmed uh, well over 90,000 peekaboo 90,000 square feet I mean how'd you like that to call that home but um, absolutely wonderful and the people here or have been absolutely wonderful um, let's make sure that we that we get a great look at this Wow I've never seen a gazebo like this I mean they really put their all into this if you guys have seen a gazebo on um, this kind of style or made out of swamp wood comment below let me know I, I'd sure like to go and check it out because I've never seen it and I uh, love checking out gazebos as you guys know especially those who peekaboo 
those who have been following me it's just such a huge property I mean my gosh let's get another good look from back here Wow, just wonderful. I like to come back here when it gets warm because this probably with, with all the trees uh, would look absolutely magnificent. That's for sure. Wow. Don't forget to please like, please comment, please subscribe, and always smash that like button, beautiful people. We have so many videos coming your way. We have so many collaborations that you guys love coming your way. Yep, and we got the abandon, the creepy stuff, the nighttime adventures, all coming your way. Let's go take one more round in here. Just an absolutely beautiful treat. Now I'm not sure. Let's see if we could zoom in from here. Take a look at some of the mansion just so you can get an idea. Check it out. That mansion is just so... I know the trees are in the way, but just giving you an idea of how truly massive this place is. And uh, we'll certainly come back over the summertime and get a much better look at this place. Well, I mean this 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 thing is absolutely sturdy. Wow. Beautiful job. Really fantastic. But for now, that's all I got for you. That's all I got for you. Vlog is over.